Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Brianna on Yay. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that like button. You're already here, so you might as well. And happy Vlogmas! It's um, December 1st. I'm gonna put my glasses back on. I was trying to be cute and have my glasses off because there's a glare, but I can't see. And I feel weird talking to y'all without my glasses on. But um, hey, so happy Vlogmas. Um, this video is gonna be the plan is to have it brief just a little check-in but who knows how long this will actually run yeah um <laughs> but for this first video i just wanted to give you guys a just a life update of what's been going on with me um yeah this door is open it's gonna bother me. hold on but yeah kind of just what's been going on with me in my life clearly life update um and yeah so firstly i'm vlogging on my phone because i broke my camera lens um i thought that it wasn't broken when i dropped it because it looked like everything was fine when i went to vlog the other day it did not work so i've been without the camera for the past few weeks so i've been without the camera for the past few weeks so but I'm gonna still try to do vlogmas, push it out. Um, yeah. So let's just jump into it. Um, this year, and where I was this, where I'm, where I'm at this year, and where I was last year, I feel like are two completely different breeds, in like a good way and a bad way. <laughs> um working for the good but mentally wise like my mental wise not the best i'm gonna get a little candid here okay this is gonna be a little hard because i keep running out of storage but um i don't even know where i was okay so the first thing we're just gonna start with the job situation so y'all may know some of y'all may know some of y'all may not know my previous full-time job was pretty toxic and I feel okay talking about it now because I'm no longer there um they let me go a few months ago which was probably the best thing for my mental health because it was such a toxic work environment and I will say like if you feel like you're in a toxic work environment it ain't worth your, worth your mental health at least if you can leave like if you saved up leave but like y'all I, I like the, the amount of times I cried during that job, whether my job was being threatened or just the leadership. My dog is looking at me right now outside. But um, the leadership with it, it was just, it was not a good work environment. Like, mind you, this is like the first big girl job outside of getting my master's. So I'm just like, oh, be easy breezy easy breezy beautiful no like i was there for two years and six months and i'm very I, i'm in a place now it's been like what five months now wait august September, October, November, November. basically five months that i have not been there and while it has been challenging because of you know financials it is what it is um i'm grateful that i'm no longer in that toxic work environment and i'm praying that my next role is not a toxic work environment but i will say this will lead into my mental health i will be very candid with you guys right now i'm not in the best space mentally um i'm happy that i'm no longer there because you know like i said it wasn't the best work environment but I'm also in a space of trying to figure out what's next. I feel like I've gotten closer to God in this whole, like I've, I had already been working on my relationship with God, but it's definitely been challenging because I don't even know where to go with this. <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say, but words be hard. Words be hard for me. I, I feel like, 
because I'm in this mental battle right now, like, I just feel like I I don't know. That, honestly, that's what I got. The, the, the best way to break this down is I don't know. And I won't know. All I know is I got to put it, give it to God because that's all I can do. Like, I can keep applying to jobs and all that good stuff. But honestly, all I can do is give it to God at this point. Um, but these past few months, y'all, I've crashed out so many times. And to be real with you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. To be real with you. A few weeks ago, I was ready to. I, I'm. Oh, this is so crazy. I just. I, 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 I didn't, I, oh, <laughs> hey, crying on camera, I'm not gonna cry, I, um, I really didn't really want to be, like, here anymore, like, on earth, like, I, I, it just, when I said, you know how when one thing happens and everything just kept happening, like, it just kept It just kept trickling, like back to back to back to back to back. And it was just one day where I was just like, I literally cannot do this anymore. It just felt like it was something after something after something after something after something. And I just like, I got to a point in my brain, I was just like, I, I don't, I don't, I, there's no point. <laughs> I just felt like I was already dealing with stuff outside of the job, but I feel like not having a job kind of like, into overdrive I if I'm ram <laughs> if I'm rambling I'm so sorry I just I'm just trying to have a conversation at this point I'm just letting you guys give, give you the real the real the real the real the real the real of my life update right now I'm just I'm not okay and I, but I know it's okay to not be okay but I gotta keep it going you know I gotta keep it pushing I know last year I gave y'all I did like a Q&A ask some questions or whatever like this this is kind of my version right now this is just a candid like this is what's going on in Bree's life right now I am not okay but I'm working on it I will be okay and I know that's a process um I'm happy that I have friends here that um I'm close with and I can talk to Sometimes I don't want to talk to anybody. Sometimes I do. <laughs> but I'm happy that I do have the support here um, in A. But, yeah, I, this these past few months, I can't even believe it's been these, these past few months. I feel like it, it just happened. But time is just going by. It's December 1st. 2024 said, yeah, hey, bye. Like, wrap it up. 24 said, wrap it up. Which is cool. And I, it's so crazy because looking back over 2024, I ate some dang grapes under the daggone table. And I think literally from January to now, every, it just kept going down. It, like, it's probably for the best, like, stuff that has happened. But in my brain, it's, it's like, oh my gosh, it's just been one every month, every day. It just seems like it's been one thing after the other. But I know it's all for good. Like, everything that has happened, I know that something better is on the way. At least that's what I believe myself. And what I've been told to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else can I tell you? Because I don't really want to dwell on that situation. But just know I'm no longer at that toxic job. I am praying that the next role I am in is for me or even like I've been, I've been in this space like I don't I don't know if it's content do I do I continue content it feels weird like to be real with you it feels weird doing content not having a full-time job because I'm like well I need to be doing this I need to make the money and I'm not making money on content right now you know what I'm saying like it, it, my brain has just been but I like making content because it's something I like to do I like to edit so I'm like girl do it but I feel guilty sometimes doing what I like which is weird like you should be you should like what you you, know, you should do what you like but I don't know okay I'm gonna just take my glasses off because I feel like that glare was bothering me but um 
to get past the whole job situation. Yeah, so that's done. But hey, yay, out of toxic. Um, relationship status. Your girl is single. They're very much single, but you know, we're dating people. Sorta. Of. We're exploring our options. We're seeing what's out there. Cause you know, your girl. I'm very much a lover girl. Be ready to lock in quickly, but I know that's not fair to myself just the because of like past situations. So I want to give myself the opportunity to, you know, learn about me. I'm 27. Okay. But also explore, see, you know, what I like. That's this where I'm at with relationship. I'm single. You're really single. Um, yeah. What else? <laughs> Um, girl, y'all, my head itches. I gotta wash it again. Um, I have decided to lock up my hair. That's one thing, though. I, I really want to lock up my hair next month. I feel it's from, like most times my hair is in protective styles anyway. And then when I have it out curly, I'm ready to stick it back. I do like when I have a blow, I like my curls sometimes, but I kind of want to see where the lock string takes me. And if I don't like it, I can always comment out. But there's this one picture I might insert it like right here that I saw and I was like, oh, that told me. Like I really, I just love, I love locks on women, men, like anybody. Like I just love the look of locks. I'm hoping when I do it that I could keep like my curly ends, but still have, you know, locks. And I know it's gonna take a while to look. Everybody's journey is gonna be different. I know mine will be different. So we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm still living in the A. I don't know how long i'm gonna be here i've been here y'all i'll be here almost four years in february dang i'm a resident for real that's crazy and i you know have my dog got him in february almost a year with him y'all he'd be making me he i be losing my mind with that child he's a mess but at this point it'd be kind of weird if i like didn't have him so he's a mess but he's my mess <laughs> um, I really don't I, that, I think it's pretty much it for my life update honestly I'm still trying to go to physical therapy school preferably next year but me not having that full time job right now has kind of pushed it back a little bit with what I need to do to get that done but I'm praying like going into the holidays I can secure something that would be the best Christmas gift honestly locking down some financial stability that's like Going in 2025, I'm not, I'm not playing no games. Like, I will say, I will say, when it comes to like my birthday, I just, the past two years, I've been, I went to Mexico and then I went to Jamaica this year. And I just, I love going, I don't even need these airpods. I don't know why I have these. Um, I like going on these trips because I'm like, you know, I can do this. Like, I, I, I love a good trip. And I don't know where I was gonna go in 2025. Maybe just telling me to sit my behind down. But we'll see what happens in 2025. 2025 is close, but far at the same time. Not really. 30 days. My birthday is March 12th. We'll see if I take myself on a trip. If I don't go out the country, I do still want to try to do some type of... Maybe I'll do like a little solo trip, cabin trip for myself. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I need it, but I'm also like, girl, sit your vibe. There's so much stuff like I wanna I wanna shop a little bit. I'm about to go on a tangent. Okay, I'ma just be quiet. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not gonna be quiet. Um, yeah, so back to what I was saying. Yo, I think I have ADHD. A little bit. I might have a little bit of ADHD. Um I should have wrote down what I wanted to talk about because now I'm just like, huh? But yeah there's some things like once i do secure this full time and it shoot it might be content that i end up doing full time i would love that doing content full time there's so much stuff like when i was younger i wanted to do i, want, I used to write plays i used to sing i still sing but not like professionally um i wrote plays poems poems art like painting and drawing stuff like that there's, there's so much stuff i just want to tap back into but i feel like because i'm in this space of like trying to figure things out my mental space my mental health is not 
where I would like it to be right now, but maybe that's the excuse to pour back into those stuff that I like to do. So we'll see. We're in a very much we'll see, I don't know type of era right now. Just figuring it out. Just trying to figure it out. I feel like that's every, what everybody's trying to do. Recently, I've been re-watching re Insecure and Living Single, and it made me realize, I was like, dang, you know what, these folks were in their 20s. I'm only 27 and they're still trying and like folks are still trying to figure it out and I feel like society like right now like what you're seeing on the internet like it just pushes your brain like oh I gotta do this that and they're like a lot of my friends are having babies or getting married and all this jazz good stuff and I'm just like wow like you know you get to a point like dang when is it gonna be my turn but like babe it's just not your turn yet it'll come when it comes so I try not to be so hard on myself like yes I'm not in the space where I want to be right now but you're in the season that I'm supposed I'm, I'm in the season where I'm supposed to be not where I want but where I'm supposed to be and I'm literally actively telling myself this right now because I crashed out a couple days ago what's today Sunday Friday Friday and yesterday I was crashing but um yeah we're just gonna you're taking it day by day babes we're taking it day by day but i don't really know what else to say right now because i feel like i'm rambling and i don't want y'all to you know you know we'll see where vlogmas takes. i, I want to do a lot this month and also i don't know what i want to do i want to do a lot but i don't want to do i do want to try the advent calendar this year don't know which one though but i do want to try the advent calendar um I'm gonna put my tree up probably today or tomorrow. We're gonna see. I wanna have it up most of this month. It's literally December 1st. What the heck? Hello. Um Yeah. Give you guys updated skin care routine. My skin. I've been using Exura Beauty Botanical. I keep getting cut off because I'm running out of storage. But yeah, I've been using Exura Botanical Beauty for the past few months on my skin. And I'm liking it a lot so far, okay? Like it's eating. So if you wanna use my discount code check that out check that out um there is um a sample product that you can basically use if you don't want to go like full in just yet you want to try her out first get the um cleanser first and then the um moisturizer and i'll show a picture right here but try those out first see what you like and you can use my discount code um and i'll put all the information right here and in my the link below but yeah i really want to do a lot this month i'm really going to try to push out content i don't know if i'm going to do a weekly or daily we will see how the days go okay last year i was proud of myself i really was pushing out that content i don't know how the heck i did that ish but i did it we're gonna see if i can do it again yeah i wonder if my eyes are like cross-eyed because i can't see without my glasses so i'm just like thinking like are my eyes like doing like this right now or like like where am i looking um, uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this first video for Vlogmas, my life update. I probably didn't even tell y'all everything yet. Like, it's, a, <laughs> it's still so much, but maybe I'll tell more as the days go. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to me ramble. I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. Bye guys.